Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is your host, Sandeep Pednekar. And we are here with Pam Tiffany. And she has been a part of Merge Memphis. But before we go ahead and talk about what you do here at Merge Memphis, please introduce yourself. Okay, I'm Pam Tiffany. Mm -hmm. um, born and raised? Born and raised in Iowa, mm -hmm. Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Okay. Came south with uh, my husband, job transfer. Okay. We lived in southern Tennessee, um, Fayetteville. Okay. Close to Huntsville, mm -hmm. Alabama. Then we got he got a job offer in Memphis, and so that brought us here in 1995. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So you have been here since then. Yes. Okay. And uh, so how uh, did you get in touch with Merge Memphis or what brought you? Okay. Associated? Through church. Okay. Um, Merge Memphis was asking for people to make brownies. Okay. She had a fundraiser that she was doing and I didn't know her. I didn't know uh, the administrator, Sherry. Sherry Keith. McClure. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And so I can make some brownies and mm -hmm. dropped them off at her house and heard a little bit about what she did. And then my husband went and talked to him and we decided we wanted to help him. How nice. Yeah. Okay. So what way did you start helping? We started with their little food pantries. Okay. And we started filling it up once a month. Okay. And then... So tell me, when you say filling it up, so please okay. tell some more. We would uh, buy some groceries. It's a little free food pantry. Mm -hmm. um, they had them throughout the city. Mm -hmm. And we picked one and we'd go get some groceries that you could, you know, pop the top open or, you know, shelf-stable things. And mm -hmm. we would fill up the little pantry with it. And through that, we got to meet a few homeless people and talk with them and mm -hmm. hear their stories. And then we knew that we wanted to do more. Mm -hmm. So Sherry and Keith at the time were doing what we call Room at the Inn. And they would host at a place and we would feed the ladies. Well, we would pick them up. Mm -hmm. We would feed them. They could get a shower and a safe place to sleep for the night. Okay. So how did that then grow from there? Then we, one night when we were doing that, she said, could you please pray about something? Mm. She said, there's this building that they're thinking about giving us. And we could house a lot of women. Mm. And so we prayed about it. Okay. Tom and I went to a meeting about it. My, Tom's my husband. Mm -hmm. And we found out that they were going to donate this building that we're in now. Mm -hmm. So um, then uh, you have been here? Yes, since the beginning, since um, November of 19. Okay. All right. So, and, and, and what all do you help with? Okay. Started out when we were, you know, cleaning the place up and... Oh, wow. You know... Um, Start decorating, the, painting. Start from the beginning, huh? Yes. Okay. Very right. beginning. Then when we got our first clients, I would try to help them, like if they needed a doctor so they could get their medicine. Okay. I would call around and try to find clinics. And then I would help them fill out an application for to get the birth certificate. Because mm -hmm. when they come here, sometimes they don't have anything. They don't have an ID, a birth certificate, Social Security, all that's been lost or stolen. And so mm -hmm. then I tried to help them get that. And so I got the title of Social Services Assistant. All right. Okay. So cool. to work along with the social worker. and Very nice. And I also sometimes like to cook meals. Oh, very good. So yeah. we have a kitchen here. Yes. Right. And so you at times cook yes. for them. And I'm actually going to take a new resident and I'm going to show her how to cook. She doesn't know how to cook. Okay. So it's part of... Uh, Developing some skills. Yes. Okay. Very nice. Yeah. Okay. I'm excited about that. How nice <laughs> is that? Very good. 
So I can see um, the impact that you are making mm -hmm. by serving these few ladies. There is an impact on the community. Yes. Uh, the 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 problems and issues that they have had in the past have completely gone away. At least ninety nine percent of them, mm -hmm. because they are over here. Uh, whatever they have to work on themselves, they can still get yes. some help. And the fact is that once you have some stability in life, then it becomes easy to work on the other issues yes. that you want to deal with. And that is what is being offered over here. And I know, I know I'm, I'm impressed, but I know the others outside the community who know that some things are being done over here for the benefit of the women in our society that really really need help yes. are being offered that help that is so dearly needed yeah so thank you so much for all that you do oh it's my pleasure i great. really enjoy it great so ladies and gentlemen as you heard a lot of help is needed it is being done a whole lot is done but a whole lot more needs to be done and without your help this is not going to be possible I take it upon myself to see to it that this message of need is going out in the community so that people in the community understand that and fulfill those needs any which way they can. It can be some donation, it can be volunteering as well. So please note that the help is needed no matter how much is being currently offered, whole lot more is much needed. And what is a number that people can call? 901-205-4652. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Very good. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please bear that number. And you can also give us a call. The number to call us is 901-849-D. That's 849-3337. You can also write to us at sgp97 at hotmail.com. Until next time, have a great time. And when you tune into our show, know that you are going to have some more positive message coming out from our community and people who are doing the right thing to make our community a better place to live. Thank you so much. Thank Thanks. you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.